Well, hello and welcome people to the internet to Linked Banner of the Spark. This is an action roguelite where we're going to be going out on missions, defeating enemies, collecting materials, and befriending robots. That way, once we come back, we're going to get to build our own base. And I'm assuming that in that base, we'll have ways to power, so power ourselves up, excuse me, for the next run. This is also a game that you can play with your friends. There is co-op, however, not currently in the demo, as far as I'm aware. Uh, if you want to check out the demo for yourself after watching the video, link of course will be down below in the description as always and if this is one that you like and you do want to play with your friends give her a wish list keep her in your sights so that way when the multiplayer capabilities does come around or at least if it is i don't have access to it uh you know you can play with your friends you can jump in and uh for us we're gonna go ahead and jump in let's go ahead and start a new game here i'm pretty excited about this one I, one of my favorite games of the year so far has been pal world and, you know, the whole, like, going out, collecting resources, then coming out and base building was a super fun one. So I'm hoping that the base building is, is kind of uh, fleshed out. It doesn't have to be that fleshed out, but... That being said, if you guys wanted to hear the story, you can do so yourself. All right, so we have our character here, body type. We're going to go... Oh, do we want to go... Oh, we could be a thick boy. We could be a thick boy. Uh, can we only be a... Uh, can we only be a lady? Uh, I would like to be a dude. Uh, let's go for... for Oh, oh, we could be muscular. Yeah, let's let's definitely do... Let's get the Dorito look. Let's go for muscular... No, that's a short muscle. We, go, we want tall. Oh, yeah, look at that. Uh, skin, we are perfectly, let's give her, let's give ourselves a little bit of a, that's too much tan. That perfect, we're a little, there we go, fantastic. Head type, uh, oh yeah, give me that Giga Chad chin. Uh, eyeballs, what is the, oh, we could do the little wing tips, we could do, that's a little like drunk eyes, there we go, we'll go blue, I have blue eyes, so we'll make the blue eyes. Uh, oh, we could go bushy. Yeah, yeah, let's go bushy. Let's get a big old nose. Big old, yeah, I got a big old round nose. Uh, this is, of course, my very likeness. Oh, that one's pretty good. Although, no, I think this, no. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Mouth, give me some nice plumpers. Oh, heck yeah. Deep red. Oh, yes, that's great. Hair. Okay, well, I don't have hair. Did they give a bald option? Oh, they did. Look at that. Glorious. Uh, I'm going to live my best life, though, and we're going to go with something a little bit better than that. So we are going to go with mm, what looks exciting. What looks if I were to have a hairstyle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll rock a mullet. We're going to go with a are we going to go with a pink? mullet? Maybe a per. Oh, that's not like, man, I want a deeper color. Oh, yeah. Yep. Wait, what is the darker red? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Facial hair. Wait, can I? Why, why didn't my eyebrow? Ah, that's why. Fantastic. Uh, uh, facial hair. We obviously have a beard, and that is a glorious beard. That is a very strange beard. That is a glorious beard. Uh, we're going to go for a nice, nice summery orange. Uh, summery orange? Fall orange? We got a little Fu Manchu action going on. Uh, this is glorious. This is what mine looked like uh, until a couple days ago, until I shaved. And now we look a little bit more like... Mm, maybe a little bit longer than that. We could go with the Tony Stark, but I think we're just going to go big old bushy. And then for voice. Fantastic. All right, let's go. This is a perfect representation of exactly what I look like. If you wanted to know, it's definitely not the avatar down below that I use for my YouTube channel. Don't don't be distracted by that. That's not what I look like. That's just some weirdo. What you got, buddy? What are you doing? Counting down? Oh, you're counting? Oh, boy. We've been in here a while. Am I drunk? Did you just speak English? Hold up. You're a human? That's... Wow. Do you have any idea how long I've been looking for one of you? Right, right. I should introduce myself. I'm an interspecies liaison unibot model... Is that supposed to be Buddy? Bud, Buddle, Buddle 8, Buddy, Bud, Bud Height. I don't know. Oh, Buddy. D freaking. <laughs> That's a mouthful, isn't it? You can just call me Buddy. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. Together we should be able to break free. 
here, I'll need your help with this. Just lean forward and give me a hand, won't you? This, or should only hurt a little. Uh, and you're on my hand. That was a little bit invasive. Boom, link established. So I morphed into an RMA. That's pretty awesome. It's uh, my first time doing this. Now, what can I do in this form? Hmm, give me a sec. I'll check the buddy OS. Emotes, nope. Weapon slot, empty. Russ, wait, the wire? Yeah, that could work. Quick, aim at the cell door. Press, uh, oh, my side bonus button to open, to tear open the cell door with your wire. Oh, you gotta hold it. Hold it and pull. Got it. And we've escaped prison. Can I do anything here? Nope, okay. Any weapons? No, we, we're gonna need a weapon, I assume. Are we gonna rescue this guy? Uh, no, you're stuck in there. We don't care about you. We only care about ourselves. Okay, we have a roll. Um, what else do we have? Okay, no, no real, no real dash of any. Oh, got it. Yep, we do have a dash. Okay. Whimper. This is good bot. Huh? Wait, that's my pal good bot. It got nabbed too. Hang on, we're getting you out of here. All right, sidekick, comrade. Hmm, partner. Yeah, partner. That's what I'll call you. Okay, partner, use the wire to yank that cell door free. You got it, buddy. Let's go ahead and pull. Look at that. Strongest man alive. What you got, good bot? Arf, arf. Oh, it's a doggy. No sweat, pal. I'm glad you're safe, too. Not to mention, you're our ticket out of this place. This tower is like a maze, but if we can find our way out, good bot here should be able to fly us anywhere. For now, can I at least take us to the next floor? Just step on the launch pad and grab on. Fly from point to point with GoodBot. Press E at the launch pad to have GoodBot carry you to the next area. Way to go, GoodBot. You're already the bestest friend. Your bestest boy. Okay. Oh, watch your step. This place is filled with traps. Make sure to dodge over them. Press space to dodge traps or incoming attacks. Now, when is it going to fire? Oh, okay. When I step on it, it fires. I was going to wait there for a while. What are these? Do I pick these up? Uh, oh, I have something to throw. Wait, oh, can so can I? Am I gonna be like triggering the trap? Nope. Oh, there we go. Nice, nice dodge. The path is blocked. Quick, grab those boxes using the wire and throw them out of the way. Grapple enemies with the wire, then throw them pressing wire again. All right, we grab, we throw, we grab, we grab, we throw, we grab, we throw. Look at that, professionals. Sparks, I don't think you can dodge this many traps. Try sprinting instead. Or, oh, you can just uh, hold space. Okay. Yeah, I saw that there was a toggle for shift, and I was like, okay, well, I, I tried to... Okay, so you have to dodge first. I was thinking just holding space would just let me sprint, but no, you have to... You, it, basically, you got to dodge first, then sprint, or you can just toggle sprint. Alrighty here. What do we got? What do you got up here? What's a, what's our next what's our next objective? It appears we have a little error bug crawling on our floors. Hmm, a small pack bot unit should suffice to squash it. Sparks, they found us. We're a hey, language there, buddy. What are we gonna do, partner? We got no weapons. Wait, that's it. We can use the wire, just grab anything and toss it at the combots. There, we can do some serious damage without bomb. And if the enemy is small enough, you can just grapple it and throw it off the edge. Isn't that, let's see, uh, yeah, yeah. Isn't it so convenient that they just put bombs on the floor? Bye-bye. Oh, here we're, here we're gonna bomb. Yep, let's bomb all of them. Nice, pick up you, throw you over, fantastic. So as far as targeting goes, let's go ahead and talk about targeting real quick, because there are some settings here that we can actually mess with in the uh, in the menu here. So if we go to, is it control? No, it should be under gameplay. Yeah, so you have uh, mouse assist. So if you are playing on mouse, uh, which, uh, you know, I think this is gonna be pretty helpful. Um, if you notice, there was kind of a white highlight on enemies. So basically it's gonna target uh, whatever enemy is nearest to your mouse. Some people may think of this as like cheating. You know, it's like aim assist on control or just, you know, go with the flow. Attack at the cursor, so I, I'm obviously going to have this on. I've mentioned before that I don't like attacks that only go in the direction that I'm moving. So you have that on. 
Dodge at Cursor. This is a nice one that would have helped us in, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, Vivid Area, which we played the other day. Um, instead of, so you can turn it on. You can either Dodge at Cursor or you cannot. That's super nice. You can put on a high visibility mouse or a Buddy OS, which basically just changes the color. Lock game mouse, all that kind of stuff. So super nice. Uh, I went through all the settings to see what was there. And there's some really nice accessibility options there. Or accessibility, but also just to help you play a little bit, a little bit easier. Nice job. The wire is useful, but you better find a weapon soon. We were lucky. They just sent a pack bots. They just sent pack bots this time. Come on, let's get out of here. Okay, get me good bot. Let's go to the next floor. I'm assuming this is gonna be the weapon floor. Hmm, what do we got here? What do we got? Any weapons? Weapons of any type. Wait, that's one of our chests. What's it doing here? So the little bug is flown all the way to the interrogation room. Hmm, perhaps a joint pack bot and blade bot unit can stop its buzzing. Quick partner, reach the chest and grab whatever weapon is inside. We're gonna have to fight our way through. Press E to open chest. Press E to equip a nearby weapon. All right, you got it. Oh, wait, can I just sprint? Inf Do I not have stamina? It doesn't look like I have stamina. Okay, so I can actually just sprint infinitely. So open this up, and what cool weapon do we get? Ooh, we got a buddy blade. The buddy blade, huh? Not bad. Come on, we can get rid of these combots now. Repeatably to perform a series. Hold and release to perform a charge attack. Okay, I've done an attack. We charge, we attack. Nice. We combo. We have a kill streak. Look at that. We are professionals. Ooh, that's a big guy. Wanna pick this up? Throw it at you. Ha 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 ha. We charge this up. Spin. Nice. Ooh, we took a hit. Can we pick up one of the big things? No, we can, but we can pick up the screen. Throw it at you. Nice. We'll charge. Get you. Dodge out of the way. Nice. Ooh. Charge up and attack. Kill the little puppy. What else can I pick up? Ooh, let's pick up. Oh, ooh, ooh. I didn't realize he was going to hit me a couple times. Okay, our wire doesn't have great range. Got to keep that in mind. Not great range. Sweet. Okay, let's continue on. Now that we have a sword, we're feeling mighty powerful. All right. Come on, good boy. We're good bot. Let's go. Okay, what do we got here? We have a boss yet? Why defy your fate, little bug? There's no escaping the void spire. Join us. Embrace the network. Russ, there are more enemies up ahead. Give me a sec. I'll check Buddy OS. There may be some other combat functions I missed. Here, I activate something called special attacks. Go on and try it on the combots. Press right to perform a special attack. Special attacks take time to recharge after you use. Be careful, most combat. Uh, combat attacks cannot be interrupted by... Oh, they can't be interrupted by special attacks. Okay. So what do we have? We got a little... Wh Ooh, got a little whirlwind attack. Nice. We're a little warrior here. Let's go ahead and charge our attack. Nice. Get her done. Oh, so there is a cooldown, but it's not much. It's pretty short. The way they said that, I thought there was going to be like a you know, minute-long cooldown. Oh, there was an X there. What was that X? Oh, maybe it means that my attack was blocked. Combat's routed. Nice. Uh, are we doing something here, or is that? I think that's just broken. Now, I kind of wish it wasn't... I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I kind of wish it was just hold the sprint rather than toggle the sprint. Ooh, boss time. The little bug managed to crawl outside. How? Our project has never had a setback before. We cannot allow. Ignore this creep, partner. We still got to fight our way through. Now, listen closely. See how there are sparks coming out of those combots? I do. It means they're starting to malfunction. Grab these weakened enemies with your wire, then immediately tap the wire trigger a second time to rip them to shreds. When they reach critical health, a flashing icon will appear over their heads. Grapple them and quickly grapple again to perform a botality. Tearing them to shreds and stealing a bot part to use as a projectile. 
Now how do- oh, and then I throw it like that. Nice. Oh, but they're fast. <laughs> I get junked. Oh, and we can interrupt your jumps. Okay, good to know, good to know. We proceed on. We are in an area of six of six of the jailbreak, so I'm assuming this is the last area. Oh, get out of there, get out of there. Nice, let's charge up an attack. Special. Can I grab you? Nice. Sweet. Get him dead. Area reclaimed. Combat presence detected. Alright, let's make our way to the end. This is the end, little bug. You are no match for a logger bot. Careful, partner. That's a big one. Watch, the, watch their moves carefully and wait for the right moment to strike. Once their guard is down, you can use the wire to temporarily stagger them. Large combats can't be staggered by combo attacks, allowing them to uh, allowing them to strike you even while taking damage. Watch for openings to pull them down through wire and follow up with a devastating combo. All right, let's get her done. Wait, so I'm looking for, is that my opening? That's not my opening, is that my opening? Ow, don't think that was my opening. Ah, okay, it gives me a little notification when it is my opening. Okay, we special, we attack, we go behind him, we charge, we smack him, he's done. Okay, now we understand how that works. I didn't, I didn't realize it was going to give me a little icon. And there's probably nothing else. Arf, arf! We're nearly there. Hold on tight, partner. We will head straight to our secret hideout. Just you wait. No Unibots or humans deserve a place in this world. Next time, we will squash you ourselves. Yeah, there's not going to be a next time. We're getting out of here. Linked. Banner of the Spark. Let's go. All right. Let's see. Let's see about these base building mechanics. I am very ready to build a sweet base and have some little robot buddies. Holy sparks, we're here. I can't believe we made it. So what do you think? Isn't this place great? It's pretty nice. We got a little waterfall, a nice little bridge, some some apples and big old acorns. Um, yeah, this, this is great. We got some flowers over here, so maybe some stuff to collect. My allies and I promised to meet here, but then I had to go and get captured. Good thing I ran into you. Look at this. This, is, this area is lovely. This is great. This is a... Oh, there's a little desert area. All right, I'm always I'm always one step ahead. I was like waterfall, then we go to the waterfall desert. Now we go to the desert. Now where is everyone? This place is totally empty. No, wait, I'm picking up a familiar signature. Yeah, I think that's Nickel. Was the old shopkeeper really the first one to arrive here? Come on, let's go find her. Take a stroll around town before meeting Nickel in the shop. If you're unsure of what to do next, open the Buddy OS with tab to peek at the story log. You can now access... Ah, okay. So multiplayer is in the demo. I'll have to put a little uh, little notification there or a little thing at the beginning of the video. All right. So let's go ahead and talk to Nickel. Let's see what Nickel has for us. All right. This is the town shop. We can get all kinds of knickknacks here. Ah, and there's old Nickel. Hmm, who's there? Come closer. My optical drives aren't what they used to be. Goodness, a human... My, it's been long since I've seen one. How did you get here, dear? Hey, a nickel. Long time no see. Where is everyone? Buddy, is that you? How? I got nabbed by the combots. It's a long story. We can chat about that later. Nickel, why are you here by yourself? What happened to everyone? Why? That's my sister. Is that's what my sister is trying to find out. In fact, I'm expecting a call from her any time now. She's out there, you know. Last we spoke, Dime said she was close to tracking down a fellow Unobot. And my other sister, Quarter, she was uh, turning Irish. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. I need someone to visit the Sparkhold for me. Something is off about that place. I swear I heard some buzzing coming from the module in there. Maybe it started working again? Here, you should take these soul sparks just in case. Off you go now. All right. So, wait, how do I, how do I get out of here? Ah, uh, okay. So we can exit here, 
So let's take a quick uh, build mode here. Let's take a quick look. Can we do anything here yet? Um, inventory. Oh. So some ground fencing. Player homes. Resident homes. Oh, but it's empty. Okay, so I just don't have this system unlocked yet. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to hold off on that. So we need to visit the spark hold. Do I have a map? Oh, I do. Oh, okay. So it's a map, but I can just kind of. There we go. So the map just kind of expands the area, which is kind of a kind of neat little thing. So let's go ahead and enter the spark hold, and we're gonna acquire spark power. The spark hold, ancient headquarters for the banner of the spark. Each member a legend. It's no coincidence that I picked this location to build our town. It was once the heart of the Unibar Resistance. Oh well, that was centuries ago. There's the module. Let's go check it out. The spark hold is the key to success against combots. Purchase permanent powers and upgrades for combat in town, boosting stats and unlock abilities. As new Unibots join the town, more opportunities may unveil themselves. Alright, so here we have our meta progression. And, oh, that being said, it's not actually, well, I guess maybe combat passives might be, but I was going to say, it doesn't look like it's kind of the, um, you know, what, what I expect it to be, which is like HP, attack power, defense power, crit, it's actual abilities. So I have 250, oh, I can only get one, okay, so let's go ahead and read these. Slamming the ground, dealing 80 damage, and sending enemies flying. We have uh, emit a healing pulse, granting 40 health to yourself and nearby allies. Temporary shield for you and your allies, pairing up to two enemy attacks, or conjure buddy's decoy to distract enemy grunts when destroyed, the decoy explodes. We are obviously going to go with power slam. It's easily the coolest thing here. And then, oh, slam radius boosted. Okay, so yeah, basically we can get different abilities is what we got here. Buddy, that you? Heard you were back. Hey, Dime. Yeah, we made it. Any luck finding more Unibots on your end? We? Who else is the... Ugh. Wait a sec. Place is crawling with combots. Yeah, I found Smithy. Just can't get to him now. Smithy? V. Smithy? Are you for real? Where? Send us the coordinates. Done. Check the town's mission board. Thanks. Come on, partner. We gotta leave now. Let's go get us a weaponsmith. Oh, heck yes. Now, how do I... Let's see. How do I put on my my thingy? Buddy OS. Tap. How do I put on my power? My power. Autopedia, inventory, story log. Oh, uh, how do I put on my? Hmm. Okay, maybe the game is gonna teach me how to do that later on. Cause I, I want my my power my power ability. I want my power punch. Well, that being said, I guess we don't have any weapons equipped, so we'll probably figure that out once we jump in here into the map. Maybe we pick our abilities and weapons. Oh wait, I was just going to that symbol. Where where am I going? Where am I going? I'm going to. Oh, way up here. Okay, my bad. I I saw this. I saw this face, and I was like, oh, that's the icon. No, go to the yellow icon. That's literally what's here on your tooltips, you dingus. Alrighty, here, mission board. What do we got? We can plan our infiltrations into combat territory from here. Simply make a selection, and Goodbot will receive the location's coordinates. Then all we have to do is take off. Select missions and set up a combo run for solo or multiplayer co-op play. New mission categories will come online as you progress. In multiplayer, you might complete missions you have not unlocked yet. You don't have to replay them later. Just press skip. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so if you're playing, so you can jump in, help your friend with a mission, even if you don't have it unlocked. And then once you just play it later, you can just skip it. That's that's a cool feature. I like that. So the weaponsmith, let's go for it. We have to launch ourselves. Ah, oh, good bot. All right, so what do we got here? We're gonna get to choose a weapon. We're we gonna get no. We have our weapon. Oh, we just get. Oh wait, I have two. Uh oh, I have a spark power and oh, I have two abilities. Welcome to our base camp, partner. You can swap weapons and choose which spark powers to use here. You can also use the dummies over there for combat practice. They're not sentient, sentient like us unibots, so don't hold back. When you're done here, just step on that launch pad to catch a ride with the good bot to our mission's location. Destroy combots, keep up your KO streak to accrue scrap. Scrap can be spent at the traveling shop. Open battle chests, find weapons, health, and armor drops. Some weapons will drop elemental cores with a percent chance to apply power effects on hit. You can even steal the core, adding it to your equipped weapon. Ah, okay, so we can take the weapon or we can just take the core or we can just scrap it. Okay, I like the fact that there's just scrap on the items. That way we don't just, like, leave items around. At the end of the run, your scrap will be tallied and converted into bits to be spent in town. 
Got it. So let's take a look at this UI here real quick. So we do have the buddy blade. Uh, oh, the blade spin comes with the weapon. I see. So we could change this, go through. So it looks like there's going to be different classifications of weapons. And then we can select our spark power. We can change that. Here are all the spark power. Well, here are all the spark powers. They're all locked. <laughs> but I mean, obviously, you have those that you can pick from. Service on offline. So there's going to be something else here. All right, then we got our dummies. Nice, and now we can just start our mission. Easy enough. Easy enough. Let's go, good bot. Rescue Smithy. All right, easy enough. Easy enough. We can do that. Now, is this a chest or is this is a bot? That is a chest. Okay, we'll open this up. Charge large. Is that health? That's got to be health. Okay. Oh, we can pick this up. Nice. Kyo Streak 1. Can we... No, we can't destroy that. So that's just going to be shooting at us constantly. Maybe I got to turn it off. That's something I should look for. Maybe there's a maybe there's something, a, a setting or something I got to turn off. Mm, there's a chest over there. Or maybe it's just after I defeat a certain number of enemies. Ah, I see. Okay, so after I defeat a certain... Once I defeat the enemies in the area, it'll stop working. Makes sense. What do we got over here? Ooh, we got another Buddy Blade. However, it is the same Buddy Blade as we have. So we shall scrap it. And this is just... Yeah, okay, this is just stuff we can pick up and use as weapons. Got it. So is, is this... Oh, so charge just charges our abilities. Okay, interesting. Ah, the health literally says health on it. That's very helpful. I appreciate that. Okay. <laughs> like, man, I wonder if this is health. No, the thing that tells you it's health is health. We got some additional armor. I'm assuming armor just protects you from one hit. That's the way it looks, at least. Ooh, so we can spend scrap. Do I have... Oh, I do have enough scrap. Okay. We got to keep up our... We got to keep up our count, though. No! My count's gone. How long does it take to recharge my ability? Oh, it looks like it might be... Is it recharging based on hits? No, it's recharging based on time. Okay. Ooh, I did not expect that. Nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's open this, see what we get. Oh, there's two. Okay, so I don't think they're... Maybe they're not any different. Uh, level 2 Buddy Blade. Core hits immobilize combats and our damage is up. And we can hit tab to compare. Super, super nice. Okay. So let's go ahead and take this one. We can then scrap this one. We'll take the health. And then we'll take the charge. We can... Yeah, we can open up this. Buddy Blade. So this has a fire core. Deals damage over time. I think I want my electric core. So let's go ahead and scrap that. Mm, okay, so we can't do anything with the health. And then what do we have over here? Probably nothing we need. Oh, we'll take the armor. Yeah, that's totally something we can use. And then I think that's it. Yeah, that's everything here. All right, next area. Blade bots. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, we got so much stuff. We're rich. Now, they clearly gave that to us because I'm assuming there's something in here that I want. Uh, core hits set up combats to take more damage. Hmm. Is that what I want? I feel like the immobilized combats might... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Spark power charge filled on KO. Ooh, nope, we want this. Want this. Actually, you know what? I'm actually going to... So I'm going to swap that, get that weapon, then take the core. So now I have the mod socket. Oh, this is a cool system. So we're going to get some, uh, some uh, uh, alterations on our weapons. We have the level 2 weapon, and now we have the weapon core, the shock chance, on it. 
That's right. Get out of here. Oh, we got to get out of that. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, no, I want to take her. I want to take her stuff. There we go. Nice. Big attack. Oh, that's not the attack I wanted. I wanted this attack. Nice. Pull, this, pull your stuff out. Good. Oh, get some armor. Let's go ahead and throw that over there. Dodge the hit. Stagger. No, I want this attack. Okay, I'm still learning where all my attacks are. There we go. Clear. Uh, let's go ahead and open this up. What do we got? Another sword. Is this what we want? No. So we can just scrap this. How much are we getting out of that? Um. Oh, we got eight. Okay. Was that it? Can I go up here? No, this is walled off. Okay. Can't go that way. So I suppose we should go down here. We do something over here. Oh, it's Smithy. What's up, Smithy? What's crack a lacking? Oh, he's just he's just gone. He's just out of here. So, oh, we gotta go this way. Got it. Oh, but there's a chest that oh, I can't open it though. All right. Mission success. Heck yeah. And what do we get? We get a little orb. We get a little crystal. We get a little something something. Oh, we get a cool little power stance. We got smithy. We got what is this? This is Soul Spark. And what else did we get? We got bits. We got so many bits. Nice. Let's go back to town. And let's figure out what we can do with this weaponsmith. Let's see if we can get some new weapons. Alright. While we're paused. Hydration break. If you got some liquids, drink it. Be nice and healthy. Oh, we got some new stuff. Uh, Buddy's Blue Guard. I, I'm literally dripping water all over my mouth right now. It's not pretty. Buddy's Mask. Alright. Seems like we're getting the hang of this bot arm thing. That wire sure came in handy, huh? Ahem. <clears throat> Am I getting through? Good. I'd like to thank you two young warriors in person. Can you come find me? Smithy is here. We should go see if he can make us some new weapons. By the way, do you remember the weird glowing orb we grabbed right after freeing him? Some kind of power core. I managed to collect some intel when the wire with when the wire connected to it. The location of two of my key allies, Chip and Mason. Chip is the best tinkerer there is. He can probably help us upgrade the wire. And Mason is a builder. Okay, we're going straight for Mason. We'll need him if we want to set up a proper town. What do you think, partner? Should we go rescue those two next? Smithy, go greet him. Okay, so where is Smithy? Oh, you're way back there. All right, let's go take a look at Smithy first. Because we got a new weapon that we need to see how, how we put it together. Uh, let's go up here. Smithy, my man. What you got? My rescue is here. Good, good. Call me Smithy. I'm at your service, if you prove worthy. It was quite astute of you to liberate me first, human. I take it you seek my weapons as a my skills as a weaponsmith. Another fortnight in that cage, and my designs might have fallen into enemy hands. I have taken severe measures to prevent this, of course, fracturing my memories, scattering their fragments. Yet a little still remains of both my knowledge and skills, enough to help you get started, if nothing else. Here. Take my forge. Build it somewhere in town, and you will find me there at my anvil. Hmm. My work here won't be enough. I'll travel via the old channels to provide assistance from within enemy territory. It's a pleasure to fight alongside you, human. Let us begin our work soon. Press B to enter build mode. Open build inventory with tab. Select an item. Drag it around with the wazi and plus space to press it down in any unobstructed area. Keep in mind, large structures like shops and homes can only be placed can only be placed your own town. Okay, well I figured. So I guess you can build in so you can probably help your your friends build. All right. So let's build the smithy over near our town center so that way we don't have to travel too far. And where do we want to build this thing? You know what? There's a sweet location. Maybe we could build this guy a little bit near the water. Huh? Does he look like a uh, maybe not. Maybe not. We're going to build him right over here. So let's go ahead, open up our B tab. Oh, we got to be wary of where our character is as well, it looks like. So open up our inventory. Smithy's Forge. 
Uh, let's see. So let's go ahead and give her a little turn. So it looks like we can do... Okay, so I don't think that we can place things backwards. So it's basically forward, 45 degrees, and 45 degrees. Um, let's see. So we can zoom in and out here. There is definitely like a tile system. It's not like free placing. So you can kind of place it wherever you like. We're going to do a little little 45. And we're going to go... We're going to go... Look at that. This, this location looks great. There's a little place for a little like pathway. Love it. All right. Oh, there's grid visibility. Oh, perfect. So you can see that. Uh, let's go ahead and exit out of build mode. Ah, how I've missed the warmth of my forge. Thank you, young heroes. I am once again in your debt. Build the heart of Smithy's crafting legacy. We have done it. We have succeeded. Now, why can't I walk over this way? Oh, probably because the building's in the way. Yeah. Okay. So there's... It's, it's. Oh, no, no, no. We can do that. Okay. So we can go ahead and enter here. Smithy, let's go ahead and make a weapon, buddy. Um, shh. Let's use our inside voices while we're here, partner. This is Smithy's Forge. He treats it like a temple, and so should we. If we stay on his good side, we can use this place to craft new weapons, upgrade them, purchase weapon mods, and more. Ooh, okay. My anvil's at your service. Is there anything here in chat? You did well with that sword in hand, human. Though my memory fails me, I do recognize it as one of my own. But will that weapon alone be enough? Not much is left of my memories, but I've retained a couple of old designs. The Basher and the Claw. Two formidable weapons. Either would be great, uh, greatly augment your arsenal. You must decide which best suits your needs. Do it quickly as I yearn to strike at my anvil once more. You guys know how it is. There's only one we're going with. Here, take these materials. Once you've made your choice, approach me again to craft at my forge. Forge Smithy to craft new weapons, start missions with crafted weapons at the loadout wagon, or find them in battle chests deep in combat territory. Purchase weapon mods to expand the variety of temporary combat upgrades Smithy can offer during missions. Alright, so let's forge. And we have the Buddy Basher, which does big damage. Can we... Let's see. Um, okay, I was going to see if I could compare weapons in here, but I can just go between them. So over double damage, which is crazy, we get a triple smash ability, and then okay, so we have to have a we have to have stuff here as well, and yeah, we're we're obviously crafting the buddy basher. If you thought it was claws, you're wrong. Uh, <laughs> flash slash, although it's a cool weapon, we're going with the basher. Nice. So it is crafted, and yeah, because I don't have enough materials for that. Okay, and then let's look at mods. So it looks like there are, okay, so there's general and then there's specific basher mods. Four meter explosion on final combo attack. Mash to repeat charge attack two times. Interesting. One extra combo attack and pop up enemies with final combat attack. Let's do, well, what can we buy? We can buy like, oh, we can buy a bunch of these. Let's go for, yeah, let's go for these. I don't really think I care about the, the popping things up. Fine choice. It's been years since my hammer struck steel, but this weapon will surely strike true. Here, take this portable forge. Set it up anywhere you'd like to access my creations. Now I am but a shadow of the weaponsmith I once was, but my pride still lingers. My work was not meant for ordinary hands. It was once wielded by those who walked the line between machine and legend. Are you worthy of my creations, human? Return to me when you are ready, and we shall see. So the portable smithy is... Or the portable forge is... It seems like a, a slightly strange option to me. And the reason that I say that is because it's I, I think its intent is potentially if you need to craft things while you're in a friend's world. I think that might be why it's here, because otherwise, I, I don't know. I, I'm assuming that you can't use it in a mission. I'm assuming that it's just for in in hub worlds. So. The only reason I could think of to use it, because otherwise you'd want to like highlight the building option, and so you have to like actually go to the building forge. So uh, that's 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 my line of reasoning why that's there. Because otherwise I was like, huh, I, I don't I don't really get it. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna rescue this guy here, the builder. We're gonna rescue Mason because I want to figure out uh, more about this this uh, this building system. All right, and of course, let's go ahead and pick up our basher. Uh, let's change this. Let's pick up the... Oh, we also have... The... Oh, we just got the Buddy's Blue Guard. So, it has a speed boost and it has charge boost, but we want basher. 
There we go. Now, I can't actually, it doesn't look like I can actually put mod sockets in, right? So basically, we can start with this. So actually, what I might do, hmm, do I want to just start? Let's just, let's do this. Let's start with the Buddy's Blue Guard. Because this has mod sockets. Nah, nah, we're just going to go, we're just going to go Basher. Let's just go Basher, and then we have our Spark Power. Perfect. Oh, buddy. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, yep. And then what's, what's, what's our, what's our special? Yep, we found our weapon. Oh, and he's here, so we can craft, yeah, so we can craft there. So it's got to, it's got to be just for, for co-op stuff. Okay, what are you giving me this early on? Oh, you're just giving me a bunch of scrap. Just starting us off real strong here. Oh, get him. Nice, we got that KO streak going. Smash, smash, smash. Oh, God. Oh, God, that was a lot of damage. Okay, what else we got? Maybe we probably shouldn't have picked him up. Maybe that would have been smart. There we go. We just smash you into oblivion. Nice. Get him dead. Get him dead. What else we got here? 25 health. Love it. That's dead. Anything over here? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Oh, we do have a chest here, though. Wait, he's just all over the place. No core install. It's just a level one. Okay, we'll get rid of it. Ah, there you are. I've decided to offer you my services where you need them most. I will use the old channels to travel into combat lands just as I've done to reach this base camp. These pathways are not suited for humans, I'm afraid. However, they should allow me to reach where few Unibots can. Clear an area of enemies and I shall emerge to enhance your weapons with whatever boons I'm able to procure. Meet with Smithy in every room to... To, in every room to upgrade your weapon. Upgrading your weapon is key to survival with the combat horrors, but these power-ups reset at the end of a mission. Okay. Um, so I'm assuming we can only do one of these. So that being said, let's do the mash to repeat charge attack two times. I'm assuming mash just means like spam my, spam my ability. So let's do that. Let's confirm. No, that's not what it is. What does that mean? Mash. Mash to repeat charge attack two times. Um, because that's our basic combo. That doesn't do anything. Okay, I don't know what mash means. Maybe I'm not, maybe I'm just not smart. Ah, that's what it means. Okay, so you have to... Okay, yeah, that mash should probably be clarified. So basically, you charge up your... So this is a regular charge attack. Then if you charge it up again, and then you mash click afterwards, you can do it again. Okay, figured that out. Huh, that's a cool system then. Okay, so we kind of... Not that way. Okay, so there is less, uh, I, so basically, one of the things that I, I was wondering about, hold up, let's, ah, okay, I thought he was gonna stay right there. Yep, that seems pretty good. Okay, so when they're doing that, I gotta stay far away, because he's gonna keep, uh, he's gonna keep attacking. Basically, what I was going to say is, like, it seemed like there was a reasonable reason for you to pick your weapon at the start, but for the most part, like, so if I get rid of this, got it, yeah, so either you stay with your weapon that you're upgrading, or you, you pick up a new weapon that you pick up along the way, that being said, I think I am going to take this buddy basher, and we'll go ahead and scrap this one. Give me your parts. Uh, 
Uh, what do we got here? Can we get a better hammer? That is a level one. I think that's literally the same thing, except that it doesn't have the crit boost. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that. Take the healing. Oh, we got a trap there. Be careful of that. Is that a trap? No, it doesn't look like it. God, the exploding guys are getting a little annoying, huh? All right, we can take care of that. Let's throw this. Ooh, we got the charge. Nice. Ooh, we got a big boy charge. Large and in charge Marge. Is that large? Uh, Buddy Blade. Nope, we can scrap that. Pick up the health. What else we got? Uh, Ooh, we can open this up. What else we got? Buddy Hammer. It looks like that's level one, too. Yeah, okay, so we can scrap that. It's nice that you get a little bit of a refund there. Okay, little explodey boy. There we go. Cleared right out. Uh, looks like we're good here. So let's go ahead and move on. I suppose this is our weapon. Wait, where, where, where am I going? Where am I going? I'm going this way. I'm going this way. No, that's where I came from. No, it's not where I came from. Am I going this way? No, this is where we started. Okay, we're, we're, we're figuring things out. I need to go this way? Ah, this way. Here we go. All right, let's go ahead and upgrade our weapon. What do we want? Do we want to upgrade a mod, add a mod, add a mod? I don't remember these symbols, though. Um, I definitely don't. So that being said, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and just get a level up here. Yeah, extra damage. That'll be nice. If we get up enough damage, we can kill the little spark dudes in one hit. That'll be nice, just so we don't have to worry about them exploding in our face. Okay, so we got a cannon here we're going to have to worry about. Let's go ahead and pick up a weapon first that we can throw at this enemy. Ah, prick. He dodged it. About your core. Nice. We take your head. Throw it at your buddy. Ah, uh, he wasn't he wasn't low enough yet. There we go. Throw it at you. Smash you. Take out your core too. Thank you. Okay. Anything up around here? Any chests? No, doesn't look like any chests up there. How about down here? Anything? Oh, we do have another Oh, but we're just short on scrap. Dang it. All right, that's fine. We can get an upgrade up here from our buddy Smithy. What you got for us, buddy? I think... Ooh, we can upgrade the core for extra uh, extra percent chance. I think I'm just going to go for the flat damage, though. That's, that's a pretty big upgrade there. Uh, what is this? Oh, is this just saying it's a oh a secret area? Ooh. Oh man, I'm I'm so low on scrap. Man, I wish I had more. Can I blow this? Um, I thought I was gonna be able to blow the lights up. E to open. Okay. Ooh, you just gave me some healing. I like it. And then we get a fr and then we basically get a free level. That's pretty nice. So what do we want? Oh, so there's no there's no leveling anymore. We could add a mod. Which gives us more damage at full health. Guys, I, okay, I just realized how stupid I was in the last one where I was like, I don't know what these symbols are. No, it tells you right freaking here, dummy. 1% uh, core chance per 50 scrap. Um, Or just upgrade this to 5% crit chance. Let's take the damage at full health. We're not really sitting at full health. I mean, we are right now, but hopefully we can stay at full health. And if there's a boss, you know, maybe we can stay at full health for that. But yeah, my, my observation skills need need a little need a little zhuzhing. And we can use this to our advantage. Oh, don't even think about it. Oh, but we dropped the thing we're carrying. Okay, stay away from that blade.
Nice. Get him out of here. Okay, so if you charge attack and then dodge, you obviously lose your charge attack. That's what I learned in that fight. We always want to learn at least one thing in any fight. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. Yeah, so I probably shouldn't have done that because I think we're about to... End, yeah, we're about to end the area, so I want to end with as much scrap as possible. Is there anything this way? Why is there Why is there a root this way? Just for a chest. There's a lot of areas. Oh, so I'm assuming that there's so many chests. So one of the things I was I was like, why are there so many chests? Because we don't have enough scrap for all these. But I think they're probably there, so that way they don't have to spawn like different type, different worlds. If or if you have uh, friends playing or not. Sup, Mason boy. Mission success. We have successfully rescued the builder, and now we can go build. All right, let's do this. Let's figure out what we can build and how this whole system works. I've seen that you can set up like nice little gardens. I've seen, what else can you put? You can put a whole bunch of stuff. I wanna make a cozy little town. Mm, buddy, can you hear me? Well, just letting you know, I made it here all right. Talk soon. That was Mason. With him in town, we can start building more stuff around here. All right, that's one ally rescued. Let's go find the other one. By the way, you know those cores we've been destroying at the combat sites? They're storing soul sparks. It's a rare substance, you know? The kind of stuff that powers folks like me. How are they getting their hands on it? So, where's our boy? Our boy is up over here. Because of the little icon. We can then follow that icon and find our boy. Sup, Ma What the frick, Mason? I'm trying to talk to you and you jump away from me? You're the ones who rescued me, eh? Dope mustache, my man. Well, you got my thanks. Being trapped in a cage of my own design, no less. Well, here we are. Name's Mason. Mason the Builder. Once. Here, this is my old workshop. You build it somewhere in town, and that's where I'll be. Not that you'll find much use for the place, but hey, I'll take anything over combat holding cell. Anyways, get going now. I got nothing else to say. Sweet! Alright, let's build the let's build the workshop. The workshop, you know what, Mason, you're already up here. Let's go ahead and build you a nice workshop right up here in the oh okay not a little workshop a massive workshop um oh that being said we can't really oh we can build it right in the corner here kind of not really um let's see mm, i want to tuck her in but there's like all these little like these yeah these are being cut off hmm so there shall be no there shall be no tucking this is a no tuck. This is a tuck free zone. Um, so that being said, okay, let's build you over here then. Yeah, let's build you right over here. Yeah, you can you can be close to everyone. You can be a little social. I know us introverts, we don't like to be social, but look at that perfect location. It's like it was made for it. You rebuilt the old workshop, eh? Hey, now why would you place it right next to? <laughs> See, like, don't complain. Be social. Okay, we got some bits. Why can I? Not? Okay, for some reason, my my character wasn't running down. Now, what do we got in here? What can you help us build? Can you help us build like a sweet house, a sweet pad? Let's enter. What have you got for me? Mason's workshop, eh? Place as straightforward as the old bottom self. Still, not bad. We can use the spot to craft whatever our town needs: more decor items, new building structures. Well, pretty much anything. You have the right resources. So this is probably just where I unlock stuff. Look, kid, I do appreciate the help rescuing me and all. Just don't expect me to build a whole town for you, alright? Maybe I can teach you some of the basics, and then you can do all the work yourselves. Here, see if you can handle placing one bench and a couple light posts somewhere in town. There's not much to it, kid. Just open Buddy's Build app and find the items there. Pick the right spot, and that fancy arm of yours should do the rest. Just let me know when you're done. Can I also... Let's see. Craft decor. Do I need these? No, he gave them to me for free. Okay. 
Oh, right now that's all I can do. Okay, so we got to do this and then we can unlock some more stuff. Park bench and street lights. Let's make a nice little, we're going to make a nice little park bench right over here in the corner. So let's go ahead and go into our inventory. Um, let's see. So street lights and park bench. So let's grab this. Can I turn? Ah, so the benches and stuff we can we can turn around, but the buildings we cannot. That being said, we're going to put it, uh, is that centered? That's centered. We're going to put it right here. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to open my inventory. Then we have some decorations. Oh, I can't put that right there. Okay, that makes sense. We're going to place one. Then we're going to place two. Look at that. Fantastic. Look at our little... So you got the hang of that build function, eh? Not bad, kid. I reckon you'd want to build out the rest of the park now that you got your bench and light post down. Here, take this park set. You'll need some materials to do the crafting, though. And don't expect me to help with anything. Well, yes, I can give you tips, but that's all. Park set blueprints. Look at this, look at this nice little bench with our light post here. Isn't this just, this is fantastic. This is nice and quaint. Let's see, so do I have the park yet? Or do I have to go, okay, so I think what I need to do here then is I think I need to come in here and buy it from him maybe? Do I have to come in here? Oh, look at all this stuff. So we got some outdoor tables, we got a barbecue, we have a cooler box. Um, what else we have? We have bird bath, a buddy bot fountain, we have a drinking fountain, a pick in the basket, hey yogi. We got a seesaw, we have a fish spring rider, I, okay that's the thing. We have a good boy spring rider, and then we got tourist binoculars, oh we got a swing set, nice. All right, so we're going to have to go on missions to get all this stuff to build up our location. And then we'll do this. Let's do this one more quest. We're going to do the one. We're going to get the tinker and see what kind of upgrades we can get on our arm. Oh, wait, should I go ahead? Do I have more sparks? Can I do can I do more powers? Ooh, now we have combat passives and town passives. All right, town tools can remove large debris like boulders, tree stumps, and metal heaps. Town tools swing 15% faster. I don't know that we know about town tools yet. Town tools have a higher chance to extract rare materials from tree rocks and dig spots. Okay. Begin missions with 350 max health. There, Here's the things that I thought we were going to get. Throw damage and perform up to three dodges in a row for 5,000. Holy moly. Well, I don't have enough for that anyway. But we at least get a little preview of what's to come. Let's go ahead and save this buddy, the Tinkerer. Uh, Tinkerer. Oh, he's so cute. All right, let's go get him. Let's go rescue him. I think this time we're gonna to play with the uh, the blue sword, the uh, the buddy sword. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the. So let's change this. Let's get the sword. Let's get this this buddy's blue guard. Has extra attack speed. I feel like I feel like I want the extra speed in my attacks. Ooh, that was a cool little thing he did there. See, that's man. I like that. Uh, oh, I probably should have talked to him the first time, huh? I like that developers do that. Let's see, actually before before I make a comment. Before I make a comment, hang on. Hang on. Let's go ahead and and prove our point first to see if this is actually the case. Never mind. I lied. <laughs> I lied. I, <laughs> my 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 whole my whole thing that I was gonna say was like, look at this. They made slightly different animations for the same sword, even though it's the same graphic, just blue. It's like, nope, it's the same. <laughs> that being said, we do have a new ability though, which is a lunge. Okay. Let's upgrade our weapon. Add mod, add mod, or upgrade, so we can get more attack speed. We can get spark power charge filled. Or 20 damage, 20% 20 damage on special attack. Um, I feel like maybe um, mm, spark power charge. Yeah, let's go for spark power charge. And we're already going to scrap that. I like that they just give you, like, 50 scrap to start. That's super handy. 
Oh, that was a blue guard. I should check to see if that one was better. But it probably wasn't better than the one I already have. Oh, oh, oh! How am I supposed to dodge that if they jump straight at me? Oh, maybe I'm supposed to hit him with my wire. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, we can get rid of that. So what is this? Is this a trap that's trying to grab me? Huh. I don't know. I, I thought maybe that was like trying trying to grab me or something. I'm not sure why it's why is it slowing down time like that? Am I supposed to like stab and then fire? Hmm. I almost thought, oh man, there was a game. I'm trying to think of the ability, but there there was a game that had kind of that thing where you would stab an enemy and then your your sword had like a gun on it. So while it was stabbed in the enemy, you could like tap the button again and it would keep firing the weapon. I don't remember what game it was though. Okay, so let's test this out. Let's make you Okay, hang on. Ah, that's what we're supposed to do. Okay, so we're supposed to grab them while they're in midair. Okay, what else we got? Ooh, we got more stuff. There's so much stuff in this world. Yeah, we can get rid of that. All right, let's go ahead and upgrade our weapon. At this point, I don't think there's... I don't know that we could even find something. 25% chance to gain 5 health on KO. That seems like a pretty small amount, to be honest. Extra scrap drop on KOs, though. Chance to recharge special, K, special attack on KO. I think I'm just going to go for the extra scrap. Now that's going to bug me. I can't think of what game that was. Ooh, that guy's got the moves. Oh, and there's friendly fire on traps, too. Okay, that's cool. I like the little music every time. It's like, hey, you did it. Nice job. You're not a complete screw up. <laughs> Wait, is this? Oh, I should probably pick that up. Yeah, we can definitely afford to pop this open. Ooh. So while we don't want this, we can charge boost and speed boost. Okay, so it's just the same. That being said, we can take the core. So let's do that. Let's take the heal. Nice. Now we have fire core on our weapon. That's a really nice system that you don't have to take the weapon itself. The weapon core is separated. I really like that a lot. Um, let's see. So we can go 20% damage when below 80 health. Just a flat 15 damage boost, which we're like, yeah, we're just going to take the power boost. Okay, stay clear of the blades. Man, there's a lot of traps to be wary of. <laughs> Idiot. That's nice, though, that you can use the traps to your advantage and push enemies into them. I keep messing up. I keep confusing my my special attack. I keep messing up this and this. So I keep trying to do this attack, but it keeps firing off this one. Just a flat 100 health. Nice. Um, I think... Do I want this core instead? No, I think I'm okay with the burn. Let's keep that one. Oh, sneaky. Come on, sneaky.
Yeah, does it maybe do does it do more damage when we pull it out? Oh, it does. Okay, that's why it slows it down. There we go. Nice. Okay, what do we get? Actually, I'm going to wait until we get a... Or am I going to wait until we get a bigger one? I don't really need anything from the chest, I don't think. Unless it was... No, we have full armor. We have full... How are we possibly at full armor and full health? We just took, We just got hit a million times, didn't we? Maybe I'm just used to taking damage, but I felt like I wasn't doing all that hot there. Upgrade the core. No, let's just level up. Yeah, we'll just level this up. We do it. You know what? Let's just let's just pop this open. Buddy's blue guard hack chance core. It's force. Com oh wait, what? Force combats to oh for fight for you. Oh, that's pretty cool. We're taking that. I want to see how that works. Hit me with your liquid. And then we get our basically free weapon upgrade. Upgrade the core for an additional chance. Yeah, I think I'm just going to upgrade the core. The smart thing would do be to either level this up or go for power boost, but I want the highest chance for this to for this to work. A trigger bot takes aim, huh? Well, you don't seem so tough. Are there other enemies here to fight, or is it just you? I guess you're just the first one that we have to fight, and then more will come after we defeat you. Mm-hmm. So if if their core ah okay I was just gonna say is there gonna be some kind of indication? Just go ahead and get rid of you. you get, we gotta clear the wave. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about the pits. We can use the pits to our advantage and just throw enemies off. Nice. We'll open this up. Help out our boy. And then I think the only thing that's left is to, to peace out. I'm surprised they didn't put bosses blocking uh, blocking these these guys. Hey, welcome to the team, Chip. Oh, we got a bunch. We got a bunch of bits. We got a bunch of bits. So there's got to be another way to get like uh to get resources and the resources like to to buy crafting right because there was like trees and stuff. Now I'm assuming that we can clear out stuff here, but is there a way to do it while we're running around? Mister Buddy, just letting you know I've arrived here safely. Thanks again. Looks like Chip made it back in one piece. I bet he can help us upgrade the wire. That's both of them. With Chip and Mason here, this place will start to feel like a real town. Hello, buddy. Can you hear me all right? You two are not too busy now, are you? Care to make yourselves useful? There, I... You see, the shop's wiring is acting up again, and I have no spare parts to fix it. Dime usually rips them straight from combots, but it looks like she's taking longer to come home this time. Could you be a deer and go fetch me those parts yourselves? I'll even let you keep whatever I don't end up using. How does that sound? Good. Alrighty. I'll be signing off now. Lots to do around here. Wait, just a... Uh, never mind. Come on, party. Looks like we're heading back to Logwood. And where... Oh, he's up here. Okay. So, if anything, I hope he just says length. I want to I wanna make my, my wire be longer. You two are the ones who saved me. 
That was awesome. You shut those combats down. Name's Chip, by the way. I'm a tinkerer. I love taking things apart and putting them back together just a little bit better than they were before. Here, take my shack. If you build it, that's where I'll be. Let's chat soon. I have an idea. Thank you for saving my bolts. Alright, Chip, we have your shack now. We are going to build it uh over here so that way you're part of the you're part of the town. Chip's shack. Let's go ahead. Unfortunately, we can't uh you know we can't make it go sideways, which I, I would love to do. So we're gonna put you we're gonna put where are we gonna put you? Where are we gonna put you? Um you know what? Let's put you over here next to the granny. And you know what? Here is this is literally the perfect spot. It's literally perfect. Can't get any better than that. Look at that. He even told me it's the perfect spot. That's how I knew it was the perfect spot. Oh, look at that. He's going to sit there with he's going to sit there for us. So cute. All right. Let's go ahead and see. I'm hoping he can extend the length. So, this is Chip Shack, huh? This place sure is something. Well, the kids tinkering does come in handy. You can just drop by whenever we're in need of wire upgrade. Finally found a way to repair you for repay you for saving me. I've been studying ways to upgrade your wire. No, really. I don't usually take her for free, but since you saved me, I'll give you these friendships. Ha! <laughs> to get started. I'll work on your wire in exchange for friendships. At any time, by the way. I kinda need a lot of them. Anyway, make sure to check my shop to get your first upgrade. Chip can upgrade the wire with new moves and powers of power-ups. Each friendship from Unibot residents and... Oh, earn friendships from Unibot residents and work with Chip to unlock new wire upgrades. So, let's take a look. Upgrade wire. What do we have? So, we have tune up. Uh, boost the basics. So, throw speed, uh, throw speed and distance. Hey, there we go. Awesome. Punishes combats with a wire attack combo. Slam into a grapple combat, closing space with a damage combo starter. And then we have uh, real in combats with extreme speed. Yeah, we're we're going with the we're going with the distance. And then these are locked. So I wonder how these are gonna get unlocked. Well, we can't buy that. That's fine. This one's the cool one. So we'll upgrade that. How do we actually do it though? Oh, it's probably just once you're attached, you probably... Oh, it tells you right up here. Man, they've, they've really thought of everything. You know that? They really have. Oh, and you can refund them. Okay. That was the coolest upgrade job I've done in years. I'm usually stuck fixing random stuff like generators. Blech. Here, take this remote workstation. It can take your... Okay, so there's another... Yeah, so I'm assuming that that is because of... um, Again. Because of when you're in your friend's worlds. Alrighty, where that that is where we're gonna leave off this one. Honestly, I'm I think this is kind of sweet. You know, if you had some friends, you want to play, you wanted to play some some roguelite action. I do think that um some of the some of the maps themselves, I could tell that they were kind of reused layouts. Um, could probably do with a few more of those just to make sure that it doesn't get too stale. But that being said, you know, it, there was only, I think there was only, there's like one or two that I noticed that was being reused. I don't think it's like a big deal. Uh, just kind of a, just something I noticed. Combat feels pretty good. You know, I, I don't really have any complaints there. I think the thing that was just most confusing was just me getting used to what, what was what. Meaning, um, what was special attack and what was my, what was my power. I was just getting those two confused. Um, I think likely, like my muscle memory like, I don't actively think about what is the thing I want to do, because typically I put things to specific buttons, and so I think it just came down to I probably just needed to re-put, like, refix where my, my buttons were. So, like, the wire should actually probably be on my, my right mouse button, and then my, the, the attack that I had on my right mouse button should probably be on my upper side mouse button, and the stronger attack should be on the bottom mouse button for my, my muscle memory to, to work properly, but, uh, that, that's not the game's issue, that's my issue, I'm just kind of rambling and, and talking about my thoughts, but, um, building, the building mechanic, it seems, uh, very easy, very simple, very intuitive, um, 
So obviously the buildings, because because we're we have this lock camera, right? You're kind of limited to the direction you can turn buildings. I do, I will say, I do kind of wish, and I think that there are going to be some people that, uh, for some for symmetry reasons, you know. I, I do wish you could turn the buildings another 90 degrees. I don't think that that would be because like I understand why you can't turn them completely around, right? Because then you're not going to be able to see the door. But I think you can definitely turn them another 90 degrees because because of the way the camera is angled, even if they were, um, you know, turned another 45 degrees, you would still be able to see where the door is located. And I think that would help a lot of people with, uh, you know, their symmetry. Like if you want to have a town square with, with this building, you want to move it and put it right here. Well, you don't really want to have it bent. You kind of want to have it straight this way. At least that would be my preference. I don't know if anybody else would like that as well. Um, cause otherwise what I imagine is you're going to kind of have this like, uh, poke, like, GBA like Pokemon experience where all the buildings doors you have to go up into and so you just have a bunch of like the front of people's uh, storefronts looking at the back of the next storefront if that makes sense um, so I think turning at 45 degrees would be uh, another another uh, nice thing I would like to see I like that all our little robots here are just kind of wandering around so I'm also assuming that there is oh okay so we can, oh we already have our multi tools so we can just chop stuff down Got it. So now, is this stuff going to respawn then? So if I knock this down, can I even knock it down? Oh, right. This is an upgrade that you can get. So, yeah. So we can go around. We can collect stuff here. Got it. So this is the collection part. So that's not collectible. Okay. So there are some things. Actually, let's go ahead and do this real quick. Got it. So there are certain things that we can collect. So I'm assuming we're going to get some stone out of this at some point. Maybe. And you can just hold it down. Okay. So this is supposed to be another one that says you need to you need to upgrade that in order to break it. Okay. So this is the little smaller one that you can break. Right. So there are going to be upgrades. There's upgrades in the meta progression. And this, I'm assuming, is a bigger one as well that we can't break. I thought break meant that it would get destroyed. But it looks like maybe it means destroyed. I would assume it means destroyed, so that way you can move some stuff around. But yeah, so there's a little bit of collecting. Now, why is this? Ah, okay, so the system turns red when you can't collect any more from it. Got it. Right, so if we come over here, these are these are all green. So my guess is yet, yes, these do recharge over time. Yeah, you can see there's an indicator of how many resources are left in it. Now it's red, so we can't collect anything. Got it. Okay. So yeah, there's a little bit of uh, collecting, you know, so it's definitely a little cozy thing from what I've seen. You know, you can build little like I think you can build little fishing docks and go fishing later on. What is this? Oh, there's trash. All right. Well, you can clean up your area. Can we do anything with these? Oh, we can collect these. We can dig this up. You get some Dusty Miller. So, yeah, there's... Um, so, if you actually go on the Steam page, you can kind of see... Get a better idea. You know, there's little gardens you can build. There's obviously fishing, because this guy's sparkling, right? So, if he jumps up again, you see he's sparkling. So, there's got to be fishing in the game. So, there's kind of like a little cozy aspect uh, tied to the action roguelike, which is, is going to be interesting. I'm curious to see, like, what is the... Um, uh, like, what is the player base that these guys are looking to target? Because I, you know, this to me doesn't feel like, um, like a super in-depth combat action roguelite, right? This is obviously it's, it's in the same, uh, it's in the same world. It's in the same realm of a, a Hades like, but this is definitely not a, a game where you're going to go in and have like as in-depth of builds as Hades, and it's definitely not as hard as Hades, right? We saw how many health packs uh, we were given. Like, we had every opportunity to to take some hits, and we were always pretty much above half health. So I don't think this is going to be for, like, the, the super sweaty action roguelite players who want a difficult experience, but this may be, you know, a good stepping stone for, you know, someone who's maybe not all that into combat but likes the cozy games, likes the Animal Crossing, and maybe maybe enjoys combat or doesn't have a lot of combat experience and just wants to kind of dip their toes in. Maybe that is the niche that they're going for. Um, but either way, guys, let me know what you thought of the game down below in the comment section. And if you had fun, you had a good time, would you kindly smash the like button, subscribe to the channel for more roguelite action. But I'm out of here for this one. Thank you so much for watching. 
I have been Ganyans. I almost forgot that one. And I'll see you all next time.